Hello, hello, guys. Um, I'm back with another review. Uh, don't expect to go into gameplay because I I haven't touched this game with a five foot pole. So I'm just here to talk about Moana. And I gotta say, I always do these reviews right after I see the movie. So all of my reviews are always very uh, intense and very in in the moment type deals but I gotta say I really did love this movie it was strange right because I'm gonna lower this TV that was so so loud um one of the things I felt bad about watch while watching the movie was that I knew that this movie was gonna get compared to Frozen how did the latest Disney movie uh, kinda stand up in comparison to the last Disney movie, it's just it's what happens. Hello. Um. The microphone. So, how does it stand up? Um, I feel it stands up very much like Big Hero Six does. I'm not sure if you remember that movie. I'm not surprised if you don't. Not a lot of people do. But um, Big Hero Six was a movie. It came out. Not like around the time of uh, Frozen did, but I think a little bit oh, before, medium, medium. Or after. But it was around, like it was around the time, but not like directly before or directly after. It, there was some time with it, same year, but that's about it. And the reason why I bring this movie up is because this movie was, in my opinion, lol. <laughs> not lol. But it was pretty damn close to flawless when you take a modern oh, Disney yeah. animated yeah. movie. Uh, it took a lot of yeah. adult yeah. themes and made them digestible for children. It had positive yeah. messages yeah. throughout yeah. A, device, a diverse cast. And it was really just a solid movie all the way around. So why am I comparing this movie to... Moana, which is very Polynesian and, a and Pacific Islander, and very well, more typical of a Disney movie. Well, real simple. Um, because they're both are great movies that I feel that in comparison aren't going to stand up against the test of time. Already uh, talking, I'm going to be generally surprised who actually get the whole uh, Big Hero 6 reference to begin with and a large part of that is because of how big Frozen was I mean I can go to the supermarket today and still get Frozen merchandise and that movie's been out for two what is it two three years now and that's insane but um I don't think Moana is gonna have that same pull and for a lot of reasons I feel personally all bullshit uh, I really did enjoy the movie I enjoyed everything that the movie had to offer it, while it wasn't as diverse of a cast as um, Big Hero 6 it did hold a very inspiring story and message um, which, the, which the other thing was that I found was really interesting um, while Frozen had this message of accept who you are and who you are is amazing, don't let anyone tell you differently. Moana comes with the message of you have to fight for who you are sometimes. Um, there are times where people will tell you you have to be one way and that's fine. You can be happy in that. But if that's not who you are, you have to fight for who you actually are and who, what you actually stand for. And honestly, that's a message that I don't think gets told enough. One, one of the other things that really sold that message for me was that uh, Dean and Rock Johnson's character, Mo, uh, Maui, has a statement that he says towards the beginning of the movie where he's like, without, the, without my fish hook, I am nothing. I am not Maui without my fish hook. Um, and in kind of this like rousing speech that Moana makes, she goes, no, uh, 
uh, the fish hook doesn't make you Maui. Maui makes you Maui. And it's kind of the theme and notes that get struck on throughout the entire movie. Take them down. And couldn't help but watching the movie and I and I kept thinking of when uh, Ronda Rousey lost her championship when she, after she went undefeated for so long. And how she won the Ellen show and she said uh, she wanted to commit suicide because of how like she felt her identity was taken away from her. I thought about how so many people get caught up in what, what they say they are versus what they actually are as human beings. And the fact that um, you had a movie like you had a movie company like Disney, or not directly go for that punchline, for that to be like the focus of a movie was really inspiring to me. Um, and like, that's not even really going into the music of the movie. The music of the movie, um, well, there's not as many like big songs like. You don't have, uh, you don't have your love is an open door and your, uh, let it go and do you want to build a snowman? You don't have all these songs that you can just sing off the top of your head over and over and over again because they're just so catchy. What you said have is about three main songs I would say that are beautifully written, beautifully performed, and you have Dream the Rock Johnson singing. Which, by the way, that oh, song that shouldn't have worked, but it did. I did not know yeah, that The Rock me. had singing chaps. And not only did he have singing chaps, he also apparently have some rap chaps. Because that also, uh, his main song, his big song, features a little rap part, which I thought was really cool. Um, All in all, I legitimately loved the movie. Um, it was gonna be a much quicker review than I usually post, but that's just because I'm really tired and I have a 12 hour shift in the morning that I have to get ready for bed to go do. But um, I feel like the movie itself was is a very good movie that's gonna get forgotten within time. Um, and personally, that's really disappointing. There, there is no uh, romantic love interest. There is no uh, happily ever after storybook type uh, guide for this movie. What you have instead is a very good movie who takes a lot of its stuff, a lot of the message it's taking, and it brings it home. Um, Which I found was really interesting. Because um, it does kind of talk about how sometimes, you know, you have to be something. But it doesn't mean that's all you have to be. Um, and I don't know, I just. It was stuff like that that I thought was really cool about the movie. Um, because it also doesn't paint this picture of, yes, your dreams will come true every time because it's a happy ever after uh, type setting. It does go with there are risks of following your dreams and there will always be risks. Medio, medio. There will always be risks in that type of scenario. Like okay, and, um, and for that, like, just putting that in the movie, I felt elevated it and elevated the message. Um, and I'm not going to go into any spoiler territory with this movie because I do honestly believe this is a movie everyone should probably go see. Um, I personally think it is better than Frozen. I think that Frozen, well, yes, it was it stood out of the box and it did have uh, its own message that was very good and the performances were amazing. I don't feel like it had as powerful of a message. Yeah, I don't feel like it yeah, had yeah, as, yeah. as realistic of a message. Yeah, um, like it them, huh? That's not the knock all Frozen. That's just saying in comparison to this other movie. Um, but I don't know. That's just me. 
That's just my review of Moana. I really do think you should go see it. And even if everything I brought up doesn't convince you that it's a movie worth seeing, does uh, Transvestite Crab do anything for you? Transvestite Crab. Um, the Because that number uh, just made me think of Rocky Horror Picture Show, and I loved every minute of it. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed the movie. I hope you guys enjoyed your Thanksgiving, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.